sending a resignation letter to the Council of Regents, who must always have the full support of five members, in order for a decision to be approved, was a calculated move on the part of Toronaga. It was necessary to select a new fifth member, but that member would also need to support the vote to end Toronaga's life. Because Ishida was taking too long to call the council back together, Ochiba took them all prisoner, allowing them to leave the castle only once a decision was made. Although not all regents were pleased with this ruse, Lord Ito was selected as a substitute. While Lord Ito and four other regents voted to have Toranaga killed, Lord Sujiyama disobeyed Ishido and Ochiba. Sujiyama declared that he would not support Ochiba and Ishido's choices, since they were endangering the hare. Ishido subsequently proposed impeaching Sujiyama as well, but Ochiba pointed out that it would take too long. The hare's mother is eager to get rid of Toranaga and does not have time for the same games Ishida was. She gave Ishido the order to murder Sujiyama before he could depart from Osaka. Sujiyama's death conveyed to Toranaga and the other lords alike that Aochiba would show no mercy to those who opposed her. With Aochiba in charge of Osaka and determined to solidify her hold on the city, Yoshi Toranaga is forced to implement the Crimson Sky Scheme. It should come as no surprise that Shogun Episode 6 focused nearly entirely on Aochiba and her background given that the Council of Regents is now merely an extension of her will.